Okay, here we're replacing the ignition cold and the spark plugs on a Volkswagen. This is a 1.4 liter turbo and it has, um, of course, has four coils and four spark plugs. So we're gonna get started here. First, you wanna remove this uh, inlet pipe here because it's covering these two um, cylinders. So I'm gonna get this off first. So yeah, you can see the, this bracket here and this one right here. So once you slide this out, you can simply pull this away. It's a little bit challenging, but not too bad. Uh, next we need to disconnect these electrical wires here. And we we'll recommend disconnecting the battery before you get started with this job. You can see this clip right here is what holds the connector from coming loose. So if you push on that down and then pull the whole connector, you'll be able to disconnect it. This helps a little bit where we put the screwdriver through here. Shut this one. And then lift that up. Pull. There you go. Last one. It's a little bit tricky because we don't have enough room. You pull on the connector, and you don't want to be pulling on the wire. Make sure you pull on the connector, otherwise, you're going to damage this. The important part here is to not switch these connectors around. Um, so let's say you don't want to move this over here, let's switch this over here. The coils themselves, you can switch them, it's not going to make much of a difference. But these connectors you cannot switch around. Alright, so first you got to remove this kind of nut, then you Loose, and once you do that, it usually can come off the hand. Make sure you reconnect these. These are oh, ground wires. And if you forget to put these back on, um, then you might end up getting a cylinder with five ball cones. Just simply pull this up. And if you are going to re remove them and then reuse them, uh, I would recommend keeping them in the same um, cylinder and on the same plug. Right. It's that one. And this 
last one. I think. So we're going to remove and replace one of the spark plugs just to show you, but you get the idea for the rest. You want to be careful that once you remove that spark plugs, you don't drop any dirt or especially anything metal um, in the hole there because the, it'll go straight into the cylinder inside the cylinder, and that's not going to be good. So. There you can see the spark plugs. Okay, when you install the new plugs, they typically come pre-gapped, so you don't need to worry about gapping them. Um, it is a good idea to always check that gap because it does happen and sometimes the spark plug tip will get bent during transportation or just accidentally when you're putting it in. And then, uh, so you want to make sure they're all about the same. And then the other thing is when you come in here and you know where the spark plug, you want to make sure that it just doesn't drop the bottom so you know where that the hand if it does drop i recommend pulling it up and checking the gap because when it drops sometimes it'll hit on that tip and then it will, it will bend it'll change the gap and then you end up with an inspire uh, you also want to start these threads always by hand and then you're going to torque this to specification Look on our step-by-step -step guide for that to find out the correct torque. Um, and then we're gonna stop the camera here, take a few pictures, and then we'll um, start recording again, showing the procedure how to put it all together. Here we're already installing the ignition coils. Make sure you line up this hole with that right there. Because you're gonna be putting that through there to secure the um, ignition coils. So remember these two bolts for the middle were different than the side ones because here we gotta put the, the ground connectors on top. So let's get the bolts tight first and then we'll reconnect the ground wires. We we'll always start these threads by hand. ground wires. That's important to point out that each one of these wires should go to one coil. So you can see it's the ground wire for this coil is right here. We're connected. It doesn't matter, it needs to go over here. And this bolt that's designed for that purpose. I technically put it on that bolt, it doesn't really matter, but we just keep it the same way it was. This right here, and connect it as well. And that's the wire for this, and the last one. 
first one. All right, then. So two here and two here. And let's put the knots on that. On this one. So the older models did not have this ground wire coming to the ground, uh, grounding basically to the engine block. They used to go back and through the wire harness. And so they figured it it's probably better to ground it than these days. Always used to have problems getting random misfires. So this is a uh, better design and just a shorter distance to the ground instead of running through here all the way back to the ECU. And so here's the tricky part. We want to make sure that these we're not swapping these around. So this was our first one, it's gotta stay the first one. Cylinder one, cylinder two. Three and four, so make sure you don't swap them around. And push that in. It's actually not all the way up, this didn't click yet. There you go, you heard that click? You're always done. And as you um, disconnect this, you reconnect, make sure you never pull on these wires right here. Never pull on that, always pull on the connector. And that's it, we gotta reconnect that line there. And we gotta reconnect this air duct, and then that's it, we'll be done. this bracket further down so it's in the right place it's holding that tight thing right that's done the same thing over here 